Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today I'm going to show you guys how to improve your FPS in Krunker.io. Krunker, it seems like a fairly easy to run game, right? It's got the Minecrafty graphics, and you'd think it would be very easy to hit the golden 60 FPS, the 144 FPS mark. However, on older computers, older laptops, it's actually a little bit difficult. And so today's tutorial is all about going and getting as much FPS as possible. And we have five different methods. Now the first one is a very, very simple one. Go to the bottom left hand corner of your Krunker main screen here, click the settings button. And as you can see, there is under quality, particles, bullet trails, and muzzle flash. These settings don't change your gameplay in any way, shape, or form. They just go and make the game look a little bit nicer. And if you go and turn it off, it can actually go and make you play better as well as there's less distracting features. But also, it just goes and makes the game run a little bit faster. Not too significant, but definitely there is an improvement because there is less, less stuff having to be rendered on your screen. So, that's the first tip I would go and say. Go and chuck that on and you'll definitely be getting a, a bit better performance. So the next method we're looking at is really, really simple, but can have a very significant effect on your frames per second. All you need to do is go to the bottom left hand corner here, click that settings button, and you will go and see the resolution slider. Now at default, it will render at whatever your resolution is for your monitor. For me, it's 1920 by 1080. And as you can see, it can go all the way up to two. So that means it will be rendering at double 1920 by 1080, which is not what you want if you have a really bad computer. What you need to go and do is go to the opposite direction, bring it all the way down. And as you can see, my character is extremely, extremely blocky on 0.1, and that really isn't that playable. What I suggest is put it on 0.2 or 0.3, so that means it's only rendering at 30% of your normal resolution, so that your computer doesn't have to go and work as hard, and it doesn't really look that bad. We'll go in game, and yes, it does look a lot more blocky and a lot more pixelated, but it doesn't really have an effect on your gameplay. I can still go and play as well on this as I did on my normal resolution, because the characters are fairly easy to see and the game's quite bright. And overall, when you shoot enemies, you can see you see the red thing over their head. And overall, it's not going to have a very significant impact on your game. So now I've moved over to Google Chrome. And as you can see, my FPS is absolutely terrible. I'm currently playing at 4 frames per second in the top right corner here. Absolutely unplayable. And this might be something that you guys experience with Krunker. Your computer is just so, so bad and you can't understand why. That's not a problem really with your computer, that's a problem with the actual browser itself not having a certain setting enabled. So, what you need to go and do is in the top right hand corner here, click those three dots. Then move down to settings right here, click that and it'll open up in a new tab. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see here under system, Use hardware acceleration when available. This means the game is actually going to be using the power of your computer because currently I have it off and it's not doing that. So what I need to do is click that button and hit the relaunch button and you'll see how big of a difference it is if you, if you have hardware acceleration enabled. It really changes up the game. So, we'll go and load in the Krunker.io again, and as you can see there, it's already very, very smooth with text. Everything's loading really nice. 100 FPS in the loading screen. We load in. A little bit of lag to start out with, but that's just when it's loading. And as you can see, we are nice and smooth, and I am at a very, very smooth 144 FPS. A little bit less on Chrome in comparison to the browser I was using before, but I will talk about that a little bit later on. But if you're using Chrome, Make sure to have hardware acceleration enabled and you'll be all good to get some good FPS. Now with that said, yes I am using Google Chrome for this part of the video, but before I was using another browser and that browser is called Brave. Now it's basically Google Chrome just modified a little. It has an ad block built in. I'm not sponsored by the way, but this is just the browser I've been using and I get about 15 frames per second more on Brave than I do when it comes to Google Chrome. With Google Chrome, just then, I was sitting around 120, 130, 
but you'll see now I go to hop in game of course on my normal resolution and I'll be sitting at 144 frames per second very 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 nicely I'll just go into settings so you guys can see 120 130 140 I'm just sitting at that top mark I'm getting a little bit more performance on brave all we need to go and do to download this browser is go brave browser and as you can see you just click your first thing, brave.com, download it, install it, and it will give you better performance than Google Chrome and Firefox. So if you want to play in browser, this is probably the browser you want to go and use. Now, the next thing is, what about if you don't want to go and play on browser? You want to go and run it on your computer like a normal game. All you need to go and do is download the client, and you'll be able to get more FPS as well on the client. So... What you need to do is click this button right here, top right hand corner, and in the middle it will say Windows Installer, Mac OS, and Linux. For the majority of you guys watching the video, it will be the Windows Installer. Anybody else, they know what they want to go and install. So, setup.exe, you go and hit save, that will go and download to your computer, and it's only 80 megabytes or so, as you can see, it's downloading. So, once that's all downloaded, double click it, install it onto your computer. And, and then, it will go and have a little icon on your main thing right here, Crunker.io Client. Alright, so once you've gone and installed the Crunker.io Client, you'll have an icon on your desktop here. So, double click that one, and it will go and load up. Now, the reason why the client, one of the reasons why the client is superior than the browser, is because it, it unlocks from your refresh rate. So for the majority of you guys watching this video, your monitors will be locked at 60 frames per second, 60 hertz. Now, if you go to the add-on section and crunk here on the client, client only, and click the unlimited FPS button, you will go past that. Now with that said, if you're not hitting 60 frames per second in the first place, this isn't going to go and make a difference. But if you want to go and hit 240 FPS, or if you want to go and hit maybe the hundreds and you only have a 60, mon 60 FPS monitor, that will go and maybe make a little bit of a difference to your gameplay. So, with that said, we've gone and booted it up. To get in game, just of course click the, click the left mouse button, and as you can go and see, Feel, feeling pretty good. My frames per second currently 160. I'll go and show in here. Got 150, 160. One goes up to 200 at times. Really, really cool. But if you want to go and get it full screen, hit the F11, F11 button. And as you can see, game looks pretty good. Nice and smooth. And what you can go and do is combine the last couple of methods I was talking about and put them together. So go to the settings right here. Turn off particles, turn off muzzle trails, turn off muzzle flash, and turn that resolution slider down and it will have a bit of an impact on your game. So to go and show you guys, I can go and bring my resolution slider down to 0.3 and my FPS is definitely increased. I'm now sitting at a very constant 200 FPS when I wasn't before and that is real that's really really good really really good for me Obviously, I don't want to play on this, you know bad looks and all that But for some people they might want to get as much FPS as possible And that's the way to go and do it go and client unlimited FPS and then in the settings Reduce your resolution to whatever you feel is comfortable for most people 0 0.8 0 0.9 gives you a bit of a benefit But doesn't affect the quality of your game as you can see it looks basically like 1.0 Alright guys, I've got a little bit of a bonus fix and this can go and make a bit of a difference if your computer is quite bloated. So, what you need to go and do is in the bottom left hand corner, click that start button and then type in disk clean up. And as you can see, we'll click this button. Now it says select the drive that you want to go and clean up. For the majority of people, for the majority of people, it's going to be your C drive. So as you can see here, I've got my local disk C. Then I have two other hard drives in my computer. For most of you guys, you have maybe one or two. Majority of the time, C is the one that you want. That's the one that's going to be running Windows. That has the majority of stuff that you really want to go and optimize. So, keep it on C there and then click OK. It will then go and do a little bit of a calculation and it will pop up here. Disk cleanup for C. And as you can see, total amount of disk space you can gain, 1.46 gigabytes. So, I've got a little bit of that I can go and clean up. The one that is, for the majority of people, will be the significant one, is your recycle bin. You just forgot to go and empty your recycle bin and the files are just sitting there. So, make sure your recycle bin is ticked. Temporary files, 
41.3 uh, megabyte and in thumbnails as well look at that 163 megabytes can make a bit of a difference and so all you need to go and do is click OK but if you want to go and get even more even more savings what you can do is click this clean up system files and it'll go and say okay what do you want to go and clean up it'll go and recalculate it again and this time it's going to take a little bit more time because we're going a bit deeper into your computer but when it goes and pops up it might have a bit more a bit more space to go and save in this case, as you can see, there is a very, very big difference. I can now clean up to 8.39 gigabytes of disk space, and that's because of Windows Update Cleanup, which is 6.91 gigabytes on my um, solid state drive. So if you go and click that, I now gain 8.39 gigabytes, and if you're almost maxed out on space, this can go and make a difference. Make sure that your hard drive is not maxed because your computer will run slow. The next step is hit that OK button, let it go, let it do its thing, and then you might go and see a little bit of improvement. Now the last fix I have is really, really important if you're a laptop user. So what you need to go and do is go to your start button here and just type in power. Then go power and sleep settings and we'll go and bring up a little menu here. Go down to additional power settings, click that, and as you can see we have these power plans. Now because I'm on a desktop, I have high performance on always, but it doesn't matter what I click because I'm, I'm on the desktop. But if you are on a laptop, it is very important when you're playing Crunker, click high performance and plug your laptop into its charger. It will go and give you a very significant increase in frames per second. The game, Your laptop will be like, all right, we've got power now, running at high performance, let's go and put more frames per second out. So with that said, high performance, plug it in, that is the last method I have to go and get as much FPS in Crunker as possible.